Item number SCP-2928 Object Class Euclid Formerly Keter Special Containment Procedures Agents globally embedded in law enforcement agencies and tabloid media are to monitor incoming information from possible SCP-2928 sightings and activity. Suspected SCP-2928 sightings are to be investigated by Mobile Task Force Beta-19 Nightingales, and confirmed instances are to be contained if possible or terminated if necessary. SCP-2928 instances are to be contained in separate standard humanoid containment units within sight. Personnel that come into direct contact with SCP-2928, including all members of Mobile Task Force Beta-19, must maintain a mental comprehension of SCP-2928 as outlined by the components of Operation Kudzu. Operation Kudzu is to remain in effect indefinitely. Operation Kudzu is designed to create and prolong existing media that effectively acts as an anti-meme towards SCP-2928. Creators of media that qualify are to be contacted in an effort to extend the duration of their work, but are not to be given any factual information about the Foundation or its goals. Once acquired, Kudzu content creators are to be placed under Foundation protection. Although the exact date of the breach is unknown, on December 2, 1996, it was discovered the effects of SCP-2928 had extended to all SCP-2928 documentation. As such, the memetic trigger within this document had been expunged to prevent perception alterations within personnel, and all possible future triggers will similarly be expunged. Those with sufficient clearance, and who have been effectively inoculated against the effects of SCP-2928, have been given access to an unedited interview containing otherwise expunged data. Description. SCP-2928 are humanoids that, while in an alpha phase, cause hallucinations in those who observe them. An alpha phase is a voluntary action and causes SCP-2928 to appear as the affected subject conceptually understands, an effect which carries over to video and photographs. The most common hallucinatory effect is an inability to detect SCP-2928 due to the common stereotype of SCP-2928 are otherwise anatomically and genetically identical to non-anomalous humans. Most SCP-2928 display a rudimentary knowledge of other anomalies and on rare occasions wield anomalous items as weapons and tools. SCP-2928 publicizing information to perpetuate the intended effects of being undetectable have been confirmed as early as the 15th century. The United States experienced a dramatic increase in media concerning during the 1980s primarily in the movie industry. SCP-2928 activity showed a marked increase due to these spikes in public conception of and the resulting increased effectiveness of SCP-2928 being undetectable. In 1999, began the serialization of the series. The content of this series resulted in viewers regarding as much more conspicuous entities, weakening the intended effectiveness of the SCP-2928 anomaly. While it is unknown if the creator intended to combat SCP-2928, the Foundation successfully increased the duration of the series with the creation of Operation Kudzu. With the continued moderate success of Operation Kudzu, object class has officially been changed from Keter to Euclid. Displaying SCP-2928-13 Interview I'm a ninja! <laughs> yes, I understand that. I can still see you, though you look like a Japanese theater stagehand to me. <laughs> Worth a shot. I freaked the janitor out once. SCP-2928-13 ends alpha phase. Alright, go ahead. Can you explain to me what your organization hopes to accomplish? First off, I'm not a member anymore, you know that. As for what we did, we made ends meet. Kill folks, steal stuff, get paid. That's really it, at least for the grunts like me. They're magical mercs for hire, nothing more. Same thing for hundreds of years. They just like doing it unnoticed. So they play with your database a bit back in, was it 95? 1996. Checks notes. Can you tell me about the Alpha Phase, the cause of the hallucinations? It's a hidden discipline in ninjutsu. Officially there are only 18, but this is number 21. We go through this ritual, and we bind ourselves to an idea. So we're supposed to be ultra-stealthy, you know, because that's what everyone thinks ninjas are. How have recent developments within pop culture affected the organization? It's ridiculous. My father didn't have to deal with this. He was a master assassin. 
One with the night. I was two for a while, then in the early 2000s things changed. Any mission ran the risk of being a giant neon sign if the wrong person was around. We tried solving the problem the good old fashioned way, but we kept running into problems. You guys, no doubt. Then things went wrong during the assassination of Somalia. I had to go into hiding. The clan was all I knew, and now they want me dead. And this led you to attempt to contact us? Yeah, friend of a friend, yada yada. UIU threw me at you guys. Oh yes, one more thing. Concerning the propaganda series created in 1984? The Turtles? I don't know. There was a lot of cocaine involved in their creation. Heh, <laughs> I see. So they do not actually exist, then. What? Oh no, they're real. I meant, there was coke involved in their actual creation. The comics were just us covering our asses.